Well, the rain has stopped for just a couple of minutes here and I have to get into these hives. It's been this many days since I inspected the three big hives and two weeks since I was in the smaller hives. So we're checking stores because as far as I can tell, there's really no nectar sources around here and they've gotta be getting low on food. We are checking just overall health of the hives and to see what the population's like and if there are any signs of sort of early swarming or, you know, queens getting getting cramped in the lower boxes. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna start with the Carniolans and go right down the front line here. Wow, there's so much poop all over the place. I've never seen this much poop. They've been pent up inside, not, not able to fly for a couple weeks. And there's a lot, probably a lot of new bees in here. I don't know if you can see all that yellow. This is a warm hive, holy cow. Look at the top now. Carniolans, go, go, go. All right, I'm just gonna take this right off. Check the bottom. That is a slamming hive, holy cow. They may need a little more space. Right, tons of larva. Still drawing it out. There's larva. There's eggs. There's no stores. They don't have a lot of food down here. Nectar on that. All right, they got a little something in here. A little bit of, bit of honey. Queen has plenty of room to lay still. This hive's gonna gonna pretty much explode with population. They need another super, just for the space. Here you can see where the brood is hatched. The queen has started laying again. Inside uh, where the brood hatched out, there's fresh eggs and larva. And there's the queen. She's on this frame. This is a sweet queen. Get one more frame, make sure there's no, there's no swarm cells anywhere so far. All good. They need one more box though because uh, once all these bees hatch, they're not gonna have enough room in this, in this hive. There's so much hatching out, they're going to need the space and you know, they'll occupy their time, hopefully drawing out some comb up here. All right, bees, come on up. All right, I think I'm gonna leave the Vivaldi board on, but I'm gonna take the wrap off because population in here is plenty to keep this hive warm. Okay, new package. It's been a few weeks, not doing anything with the super. Super looks pretty empty. Queen's been up here laying. They're surrounding the brood pattern with nectar. Nectar coming in all around the top here with brood right there. Tons of drones. Look at that frame of brood. That's insane. She's been busy up top, holy cow. So many drones. All right, queen of the new package hive. Today she's getting a name. So my deal with queens is I give them a name if they survive a winter. And this bee has now survived her first winter. She's been a rock star. Like I said, she's rivaled Balboa for production, for sure. Um, as far as buildup goes and, and just strength of hive, these new package hives are, are incredible. So I'm now gonna stop calling this the new package hive because it's a year old. I'm gonna give this queen a name. She is Queen Cornelia. And this is going to be the Cornelia line. So we've got Balboa and Cornelia side by side. Gonna have a quick look at the bottom box. I'm gonna do the tilt method here, see if I can see any swarm cells below. None at all. Okay, all good. All right, all that brood's gonna start hatching this week. And the dandelions are gonna start to bloom. They got space. I, I'm not worried about space. I don't think they need another box right now. Okay, hi, Balboa, so warm. A lot of honey up here. 
Honey, honey, honey. Okay, top here, all honey. So far. I think I see a brood frame. There she is. Queen Balboa. Right in the middle of the frame. A few drone cells. And looks like stores on the outside. So two frames of brood up top. Alright, let's take a peek down below. See what the brood looks like down there. Some honey down here. I'm gonna put this on the outside. Hatching brood. We got an interesting cell over here, like a queen cup, which is empty. Yeah, empty. Hatching brood, drones. So Bubba was doing the slow build like she does every year. Taking her time this time of year. She's never really in a rush. I mean, she 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 goes. She's she's moving along, but not in a rush. They do not need another box. Everything looks good. It's gonna warm up soon, so she'll start laying. Good for another week. Let's look at the Russians, and I'm gonna take the wrap off. Whoa, crazy comb building. Russians with the drones, holy crap. Gave them too much space. Unfortunately, that drone comb all has to come out. I had a spacer in there, and that was my fault. I've never seen them do this before. I had a spacer under the Vivaldi board, and the queen came up here and laid all through that comb. All drones. I'm very sorry. That was my fault. I've uh, I've been doing this for three years now. I've never seen comb drawn like that before. You know, I always hear about don't leave too much space or the bees will, will you know, build comb all up in there. But I've just never seen it. I'm gonna look at the bottom first. I'm actually gonna take this frame out even though you're not supposed to do that. It's the thinnest frame in the box. The Russians build all kinds of crazy comb across frames and this one is the one that's the cleanest I can see right down so I'm going to very carefully take this one out a few eggs on there a lot of drones people ask a lot the ones that are sticking up higher than the other capped brood those are drones those are the male bees when a queen lays an unfertilized egg in a cell it becomes a drone and the drones are bigger and the, the cells are capped with a, a bigger cap. There's plenty of space down here. They're not cramped or anything. No signs of swarming. There's just sort of like hatching brood down at the bottom, but I don't see any new eggs down there. I apologize for the drone carnage bees. Okay, let's see if we can see evidence of a queen in here. See, that's your typical Russian frame, just really kind of crazy comb. The bottom is always crazy comb. Kind of random. Think about, you know, again, Russian queens, they're known to just stop laying eggs if things aren't right. Like if the resources aren't there, if there's no pollen or nectar coming in, they'll just stop, which kind of looks like what they've done. I don't see any new brood. I see old brood waiting to hatch out. Not a lot of new eggs. So many drones. It's it's almost all drones. Oh, there she is. Okay. She's down in the corner. And there's more drones than anything else. So I'm going to ask you guys, what's up with that? Why is she filling the hive with drones? Is she having a problem? I mean, there, there's a mix. There's some worker brood in here, but I mean, there, it seems like everything that's new is drone. I've never seen that many drones in one in one colony before. Okay, I'm going back to normal bee space here. No more spacer in there. All right, Queen Lucy. Okay, this is Queen Lucy from the 
family Cornelia. And nothing going on up top. Let's see what she's doing down here. There she is. Alright, stay on that frame. Don't let go. Yeah, she hasn't been laying much. They're just letting whatever is there hatch out. Like I said, the last two weeks have just been cold and wet. Okay, they got room to expand. Queen Queen. We just need the nectar flow. This queen needs a name. This is a dual double deep. There's a lot of moisture in these hives because it's just so much rain. The insides of the wraps are wet. See, this is the an Italian hive, and same thing. I had a spacer and then the board. Absolutely no comb up here. Ooh, we got some big drones in here. We got a drone hatch. Lots of drones. We got a cell down here. It is empty. Tons of drones. Can you spot the drones? Eggs all over this one. She's laying up here. There's eggs all over that frame. So that's like a, a packed frame of nectar and honey there that's left over from the winter. I'm just going to stick it on the outside. <gasps> There's the queen, actually. She's right up there in the corner. There's the brood. Yeah, fresh eggs down here. So she's just going up and down. So many drones in this hive. Okay, so that's good news. We got drones. We're going to be ready for splits this week. I don't see any evidence of swarming or anything. So, we are good. Maybe next weekend, check them one more time and give them a super if there's a flow on. They got the population for it. Okay, this queen also needs a name. This queen made it through the winter in a single deep. And that's actually the very first time that's ever happened for me, is a single deep getting through winter. Yep, nothing going on up here. Um, I gave them this because they needed, I think, I thought they needed space because the bottom deep was just jam-packed with brood when I checked it before. I believe these were stores and looks like they've used them up. Yeah, we need some nectar, big time. Okay, another perfect example of a queen laying into her brood pattern. So she laid the eggs, the eggs hatched, and then she laid right into the same space. Probably because it's been chilly, and the cluster is probably staying in one spot, so she's just working one area because that's where the bees are. Because there are there's tons of space to lay over here, but it looks like she's in this area where it's warm. All good. Same thing. She's laying right into those empty empty patches. She's right there. That is a big Balboa queen who's looking for a name. Okay, I'm going to close you girls up. I saw a lot of eggs. I saw a queen. There's not a ton of stores, but the, the flow, the, there's going to be nectar very, very soon. In case you're wondering, after my last video, that you see the color on the box, that's just the face of the box. I just painted just a splash of color on the front to identify the box, but the sides are still the polyway finish, and there's polyway underneath the paint. So I did the entire box in the polyway, then I just put a little color on the front. So that is not meant to be protective, it is just an identifier. Okay, this is our Balboa Frank and Nuke, the Drama Hive, the Laying Worker Hive. It's had a million names. And uh, I've been thinking about this a lot and i um, going to be extremely lazy. And this queen is going to be called Queen Frankie in the Frankenuke hive. 
She's a Balboa queen. So two weeks ago, there was only one or two frames of brood in this 10 frame medium. And someone suggested giving them uh, a nuke, putting the whole thing into a nuke, which was a great idea. But I, I believe this queen is gonna take off. This, this reminds me exactly of Balboa two years ago when she came out of winter with a teeny tiny cluster and then filled up three mediums. I feel like that's gonna happen again. Honey on the outside. Little pollen, little nectar. They got this covered. These are Balboa bees. They know what to do. That's all nectar. There we are. Little tiny patch of brood. And there she is. Queen Frankie. Done. And more brood. Two weeks ago, there was like this amount of brood right there. So she laid out there. She laid this side and she, she's on her third, uh, second frame. All right, they're fine. This is the hive that killed two queens before I gave them just a frame of brood and they made their own queen. They knew what they wanted. So I'm not gonna get in their way. Okay, this was our dual queen hive, which is now a single queen hive. She had a little bit of brood in the lower box and she was laying in the upper box, which I didn't really want, but it's what we got. All right, let's see what she's doing up here in the top box or if she's moved down below. I gave her empty frames in the bottom to lay into. So if she's down there, hopefully I can just exclude her down to the bottom. Okay, a lot of tiny little larvae in here. So she's laid up here very recently. Let's play find the queen. Did you find her? I'm not gonna tell you where she is. She is a beaut, that's for sure. All right, she's laying up here like crazy. Let's look at the bottom and see if she's doing anything, anything down there. Small patch of brood, and she had laid that two weeks ago. So that's not new. There's tons of empty space to lay down here, but she's just not doing it. So, we gotta inspire her to get down here. I'm gonna just give them one more week, because there is no nectar flow going on. There's a ton of space. She can find her way down here if she wanted to. And then if not, we will just drop her brood down and then force her down into the lower box. <laughs> Okay, so this hive was not a huge hive, and I put the queen down below uh, a couple weeks ago. This is probably the smallest hive that I did this um, flip to with the excluder. So, you know, a little concerned, but we'll see what happened. Yeah, the population is not huge in this hive. They probably do not need that super. So, yeah, this is a pretty jam full frame of honey. Yeah, I'm going to take that super right off, let them build a little more. Yeah, she's laying into the brood pattern. Yep, eggs and larvae inside that pattern of brood there. Nice solid frame of brood. All right, these bees have got so much honey in here. We got a laying queen. I'm going to give them just just this brood box for another week or so and let them build up. There she is, sorry. I was looking for a mark and she's not marked. So she's working on this outside of where her brood is, so she's, she's working. I'm going to give them another week before I think about supering them. Uh, they have plenty of stores in here. <laughs> Another slamming hive. This is the super with an excluder underneath it. Big population in this one. Definitely gonna check for swarm signs. Solid pollen, a lot of pollen on that frame. This is a monster. Everywhere there's hatched brood, there's an egg. This is a Balboa queen. That's just calm, it's not swarm cells. And there's our queen. Everywhere that the brood is hatched, there's larvae and eggs. Yeah, they're gonna need another super. There's not gonna be any place to put these bees. It's just sick. 
all the way across. Yeah, no signs of swarming, just so much brood. All right, so when this, this is all filled with bees up here, They're not, it's not stores, but they've got it all drawn out. So what I'm gonna do is get another level, another medium super for this hive, and another medium super for the carniolans. That's all we need for elevation today. Because once all that brood starts hatching out, those bees are gonna need a place to go and something to do. So they'll be, they'll be combed to draw. They can do what they want with that. Still gonna have a few chilly nights in the next few weeks. Days are warming up, but it is gonna be uh, in the 40s and 30s over the next week at night. The days though are gonna be in the 60s. Um, and there's going to be moisture coming out of this hive, so this is for moisture. Alright, uh, quick summary. Everything looks really good. Two hives got another level of super because there's just so many bees in the hive. And so much is going to be hatching like this week. They're going to need the space. Hopefully things are going to warm up this week. There are a few more dandelions poking up their little yellow heads, but it's, you know, we haven't had the rush or anything, but there's more than just one. There was one like two weeks ago, and today I saw five or six. So hopefully that's coming, and hopefully we got apple blossoms uh, in the next week or so. You know, we just gotta get some sun and some warm weather. The other thing I did today is because there's just been no nectar flow and they've been pent up for like two weeks in their hives with really no foraging and it's been cold and raining, uh, they depleted some stores. So I had uh, about six or seven frames of honey. Um, and some of that's probably honey, some of it might be syrup from last fall when I fed them. But I put it out for them to just open rob and they're taking care of that. So that's just gonna kind of hopefully bridge the gap for you know another week or so until, uh, yeah, things start rolling in. I just don't wanna feed sugar if I don't have to. Aside from the granulated sugar I put on over the winter, I have not fed syrup since last fall. <sighs> wow. Feels good to be out without a coat in May. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.